Hello, anniversary tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Blue Ankylo. We've been at it for a full year, 100 and pushing 20 episodes, somewhere around there, and uh, we're still hanging in there. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'd say we're doing pretty well. We actually have tons of money thanks to the end of the month. Uh, I don't even know what I want to spend it on just now. We're a little bit low on Illyrium. Although I could afford to build... Uh, I don't know what I could afford to build. Um, I don't really want to spend any Illyrium right now, to be honest. I want to save that up for a little bit. Um, there was something I saw. We could start another Skeleton Key. This is not required, but it may be in our interest for like the next terror mission to let the aliens just automatically get it and then do a base assault, get all the meld, because just winning a terror mission doesn't really get you anything, but winning a base assault gets you lots of goodies. Maybe. Lots of meld and stuff. I don't know if I want to do it like that or not. Um, there was another item I saw in here that I was thinking of building, too. Uh, it's for the gunner. Yes. Yes, I want to build one of these. I should have built one long ago. Uh, it just it gives us another option for gunners. It means we can make an Overwatch gunner. And if I give them the right level ups, plus the smart gun kit... They will be really, really good at Overwatches. Because I don't believe they can get Opportunist on their own. They need something like this to make their Overwatches better. And, uh... No. If, if anything, I would build... See, I think there's a mech thing that gives them plus one damage resistance. But this is really what we're going to want. I think, like, optimally, you'd want, like, tier three mechs that can have a Flamethrower, Restorative Mist and like an EMP cannon, which we don't have yet, or a pulse, EMP pulse, and as well, plus one of these. Uh, that would be like my ultimate mech for most classes, but um, there is a couple armor sort of things you can put on that probably pretty useful. Um, I don't remember what they're all called, though. Alloy belt, I do have one. This just gives us extra HP. There's one that gives you damage reduction, and that's really good. And then there are Illyrium Turbos. Those are pretty awesome, too. Probably have had some people telling me to build those for a while. Um, honestly, I'm not going to do it. Forget that. Let's just get on with it. Let's see what our first mission of March, our year-long anniversary is. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standby that's for launch. That's great. We've got two spare satellites. On your orders. Oh, and we've got... Hold on. Uh, we've got a couple... Are all of our firestorms ready to go, except for South America? I think they are. We've got Asia covered, Europe covered. Pretty sure this will be South America's covered. That's the only one that's not a commander. We've got North America with a with a, with a firestorm, and we've got Africa with a firestorm. So we've got lots of firestorms, and you can see I'm like one interceptor short to have three interceptors plus a firestorm in each one or three uh, ravens I guess I think it'll be fine though we have more than enough that we can move them around Contact detected. um I think we have two at the same time yeah one is a fighter in Africa we'll start with this one and we might as well send the firestorm uh, you could argue maybe to save the firestorm for larges but I think we can take this guy out quick enough with a little enough damage that uh, it'll repair pretty quick. Alright, we got our money. I don't think we took any damage. Let's take the other one out. Unfortunately, our Firestorm is being repaired over here. So we'll use a normal small scout. We'll just level up one of our Firestorm, or one of our Ravens. Also from Africa. That's why it's being repaired for five hours. I thought one was in Europe, one was in Africa. Nearing strike range. So I still think it was better to take out the fighter with the Firestorm. And we got ourselves a mission. Hopefully easy, but no guarantee. And I mean, really, that first fighter only dealt like five hours worth of damage. It hit us once and barely did anything. I like it. Okay, well, um, I'm not expecting this to be super difficult. It could be, but uh, I'll use this to train up some more rookies and um, we'll see how it goes. Let me pick out our squad and I'll be right back. I picked out our squad, and I'm picking pretty low-ranking troops, although I am bringing at least one mech and Lord Prey again to run the show. Hopefully, I'm kind of I'm kind of banking on this mission not being too difficult. 
Uh, Lord Prey did finally get to, to Master Sergeant, so he's got in the zone, which uh, can really, really turn the tide, depending on how things go. We've got El Owen McLeod, who uh, is a new assault, and I decided to try out breaching ammo. Seeing as I've been told that this is great, we're going to test it out here. Um, he doesn't have a ton of mobility, but I give him walker circles at the very least, and I actually give him the scope just because his base accuracy is so poor, plus I think the crit bonus is maybe more important. Uh, it doesn't say it here, but we do get plus 10 crit, which I think is actually really good the way uh, assaults work. Just the higher, to, the closer you can get that to 100%, I think the better for assaults. Our new scout coming up is Lord Loco, who's also got a flashbang. We did have one chem grenade on uh, Lord Prey. We do have a Rocketeer with Shredder Ammo and Heat Warheads, so we've got a little bit of anti-mech uh, weaponry, depending on um, what we run into. A kind of gambling, semi-gambling on not running into Sectopods. Uh, we've got Stairway to Steven, our new sniper. We've got Shark Out. I'm bringing the Marauder Mech this time, who's got lots of defensive abilities. Uh, well, at least up close defensive abilities. And, well... A couple. <laughs> and um, I'm going to try out our new mine launcher. So proximity mines, I don't know how range it is. It says medium. I don't know if I like that. But, uh, you know, it could work out. It could work out. Plus he's got Packmaster, so he'll get an extra one. Which uh, may help. You never know. Of course he has a flamethrower as well. We've got a new medic. Oh, I forgot to rename this one. Ah, this was our new medic who um, we got a reward from the mission. And uh, this will be. Eeny meeny miny mo. This will be Black Monk. I've got a few names still ready to go, and um, I'm not really in any preference here. We're waiting till we get uh, rewarded soldiers before I give them out. So, Black Monk, you get to be a medic. You started out as corporal, that's fine by me. As long as you don't have to start as a rookie, I'm okay. Shadow Alchemist gets to be our infantry for the day. Um. Pretty standard uh, infantry layout, just to try to buff up his aim as much as I possibly can so that uh, he can hit those two shots. And without further ado, let's get to it. Oh good, our aircraft returned to service. We have visual on the mission. So, Listen it's a small shot down, deep in the but keep in mind that this is also a year. We've been doing this for 12 the months. UFO is an so, it could have very dangerous aliens. Um... And until we have our Hyperwave Relay finished, we won't know for sure. Now, regardless of what type of aliens there are, there's not going to be very many. I think I think 12 or under, or around 10-ish. Sometimes as low as 4 or 5, depending on your luck on the roll. So, um, you know, it's, it's easy in the sense that there's not going to be hundreds of aliens, but it's still random in the sense that I don't know who they are going to be. You can see the meld. I'm going to off-camera start moving people towards the meld and forward. And I will start recording once we find some aliens. The aliens found me! Woohoo! So, we are still inside the building up top. Our mech is taking a horrible overwatch. Um, I heard a couple sound pings from this direction, so we're in a pretty good position, as you'll see. I think we got heavy floaters and one chrysalid. And that one chrysalid is already taking some damage. So yeah, the aliens were nice enough to give me a bit of a directional ping. And maybe we can just... Yes! Good work, team! Chrysalid dealt with. Now, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see, but somewhere back here there's going to be a bunch of floaters. And our position is not very far. I did send um, Lord Prey up to get the meld, because, you know, someone's got to get the meld. And uh, the rest of the team is mostly in full cover, so we're just here to hanging out. I think... I think we just wait for them to come. We might put Lord Prey like here. Thought he might be able to see something. I could probably throw a battle scanner. Well, I can try to throw a battle scanner. I'm not very good at throwing battle scanners. As we know, I could get a battle scanner all the way through the hole in the wall. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see if this exposes. Maybe our sniper gets a shot or a rocketeer gets a shot. Alright, we can see what's going on a little bit better. It's not the most useful. Maybe an Overwatch would have been just as good, but... A sniper shot might be worth it. So, these are definitely going to be heavy floaters. They're a pain in the neck to hit in the hand in the first place. Our sniper, even with a steady weapon, only gets to 71, unfortunately. 
I could try a rocket, but they're probably out of range. Well, just out of range. I think it might hit one. Maybe. Yeah, I could probably hit that guy. But that's kind of a waste of a rocket. So you're going to steady. Sniper will take the 71% shot, because what else can you do, really? Be nice if you hit it. Excellent. So almost halfway dead, the first one. And I think the rest of the team is going to be on Overwatch duty, really. Um, it's Paul. I didn't check if it had heat ammo. I could throw a mine over here. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not. And Overwatch might be better, but Sharkout doesn't have amazing aim. So, uh, who knows? Maybe maybe the floaters will be totally stupid. Owen, you're just going to hunker for now. You're my assault, so you're not going to be terribly useful. Our medic's pretty far back, although I'm going to move him. I'm, I'm worried about grenades and that car exploding. That. Infantry. Alright, let's see if this works. Maybe we get really lucky on the proximity mine. We do get an overwatch at least. And it's a hit. One more hit and this guy's dead. Is he going over the roof? He's on top of the roof. That's annoying. I'm going to have to change our positions a bit. Ha ha ha! It worked! It only did five damage, but it worked. <laughs> yes! There's a lot of floaters over there. That's that's one, two, three, four, five still, I think. Still! <laughs> the proximity mine! It did something! So they're like staying out of range. I'm worried I'm really worried about the guy on the roof. I don't think he can flank us in one turn, but in two turns he will. Anyway, we've got a flank shot with a sniper, we have to take it. What else would you possibly do? Another seven damage. Uh, Loco. I could move you to here, but they can flank you. Um, we don't have a lot of good shots here. 48%. Does it have the heat ammo? It does not have heat ammo. So what I could do is move the mech, like, to here. There might be more overwatch. Yeah, there'd be two overwatches at least. Ugh. <laughs> Any floaters that want to come in here have to get past our uh, our mines. <laughs> it only did five damage. That was pretty weak. Roger that. Scanning. Overwatch. Aye, aye. I couldn't have flashbanged him anyway if I wanted to. More Overwatch. And steady weapon one more time. Probably use that rocket next turn. Let's see how this goes. Heavy floaters, you know, they're dangerous, but they're not the worst thing in the world. Someone go step on the proximity mine. That'd be the best. I wonder if they got to see me uh, launch at that time, so they won't. Uh, nothing's happened yet. Two more flanking sniper shots. I like that. Let's, uh... I'm pretty sure the the proximity mine will explode. I don't know if the proximity mine will also hit that guy. That would be amazing if it did. Launching. But let's shoot a rocket down here. It may just kill this guy flat out. No. I think I blew up the proximity mine. But the proximity mine wasn't close enough. Let's have the sniper go for the one that's further away. Good hit. And then someone's got to be able to kill this other floater, right? Like, shark out? 78%? Come on. 78%? Not enough percent. Um, that's not... 38 actually is better than I was expecting. Um, out of range. But he's out of range. Do we really take the uh, the assault shot here? Forty-six percent. It probably wouldn't kill it though. Well, you never know. Thirty-eight hits once in a while. <laughs> Adjusting sights. All right. I think we just Overwatch. Overwatch. It'll move, and then we'll kill it. 
Or it'll shoot us. Either way, we'll probably live. It moved! Someone should kill it. Come on, Lord Prey. Yeah, Lord Prey got it. Kind of a wasted of an overwatch, but... That's what? Three dead? There's probably two left. One on the roof. No longer on the roof. Sniper is just going to keep tearing these guys apart. If they want to hang out over there... There's actually three. Okay, there's three left. Look at me in my counting. Take the 81% flank shot. So far, this is going really, really well. Um, nothing to worry about. They're just not shooting at the mech for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm going to guess that this guy is the leader and he might have... No. He doesn't have heat ammo. Neither he has heat ammo. So our mech uh, could actually probably weather two overwatch shots and just uh, flame them. Yeah, let's get this done with. Shark out, you're going to take a couple shots. You might be able to dodge him a bit, you see. Dodged one, got hit by the other, no problem. If I knew they had heat ammo, I wouldn't have done that. But As it is, this should be pretty guaranteed. I'm not sure, but I think it'll hit both. Yeah, totally good. Good work, Shark out. The floaters have panicked. Are they going to move? Nope, they're just going to stand there and cry like babies. Like little babies. Alright, there's nothing left. So I can move people closer. Maybe you can see from here. Alright, Shadow Alchemist, 62%. Take a shot. That's a bad shot. Bad shot. Walk it off, walk it off. Mr. JJ. 56, come on, buddy. Uh, at least we've got a couple turns. I'm pretty sure panicking them was the right idea, because if it wasn't for that, I couldn't do things like this. 45%. 45. You got more chance of killing that guy. Yeah, Lord Loco. Floated down. Let's see if Owen can murderize. I sure hope there's no more floaters left or else you might be dead. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. 78%. Good shot. Now I did notice that there was no damage reduction, but heavy floaters only have one or two. So maybe Breaching Ammo just remove that one. What we really need to test out Breaching Ammo on is like a Mectoid or something. And then we'll see if it removes all damage reduction. If it does, then I was wrong and I should use it more often. So I think odds are the next alien pod is in the UFO. So I'm going to put a cut here and I'll meet you either at the UFO or on the way over as we get ambushed. Whatever happens. See you in a little bit. Looks like we found some interesting opponents over here in the corner. Turns out, uh, I was looking to find the outsider over here, but it turns out there's some more friends. So, uh, there's uh, a muton elite and a bunch of mutons. I didn't uh, notice them on the listening phase, but uh, that's what we got to deal with. Our sniper is definitely in a good position. Maybe to just take out one of these guys all on his own. Our, uh... It's perhaps even more effective to use something like a, uh, a proximity mine on this one. And yeah, there's meld back there that I was never able to get. Um, we could shred rather ineffectively thanks to uh, their cover. On the other hand, can they see anybody? Yeah, they can see Lord Prey. They cannot see Shadow Alchemist, so they'll have to move forward. I could move two people back and then they'll have to move into our, sh into our li line of sight. I think that's what we do. Pull people back a little bit, so we got slightly more full cover. I'll want to use a rocket next turn. We might as well take a sniper shot here. Let the sniper peg one off from long range, and uh, the other three or four will have to move closer. And uh, we'll save the mech for next turn. Hopefully this is out of line of sight. Yeah, good. And this is our assault. You can hunker. And our medic. You can actually pull into full cover. I don't want you to get hit. 
Could throw some smoke. Can't throw smoke far enough to do what I want to do with it. So overwatch this. Commander. And then Lord Prey, we definitely don't want you to die. I'll let you move back the furthest. You can, you've got the most options anyway to, to move around. Alright, let's see what these guys do. You guys gonna come at me? There's the elite. First move out in the open. I love it. That guy moved and then blood call. Not too bad. And then take a shot. Okay, we got one shot at our mech. And it's a miss. Good. Hostile fire on this position. The retreat strategy works really well. And oh yeah, a mechtoid. I forgot about that. Okay, we're gonna wanna rocket that mechtoid. I'm glad I saved my shredder rocket. It's gonna No, we got a couple more. At least we got one hit on it. That helps. If I could shred the elite and the mechtoid, that would be enough for me, if it's possible. I mean we've done a bit of damage to it. This is also a point where we could possibly try the uh, breaching ammo, depending on how things go. Alright, let's see this Shredder Rocket. Can we do it? Yeah. Optimally, it will hit this guy as well. Or less up. Do I care? I mean, if I do hit this Muton, it makes it a little bit easier to finish him off. So let's try. Although it might have been better to put the Mechtoid in the center. So it did a little bit more than damage than 7. But I think that works out. Good Shredder Rocket. Sniper. I think we let the Sniper shoot at the Elite. Because it's difficult to hit these guys. And the Sniper is getting quite a lot of height bonus and stuff. It's only 91%. But it's a pretty good shot. And he's got Overwatch. So, you know. That'll do it. No Overwatch. Alright. Now... Shadow could be flanked by that guy if we don't deal with him. Our medic doesn't have the greatest aim. I think you take your shot, see if you get it or not. That'll do. That's what you get. That's what I get for saying you don't have a very good aim. You take out a mechtoid. It was shredded, so, you know, that's, that's how it works. Um, JJ already took his shot. Lord Prey doesn't need the kills himself. Shadow Alchemist try to kill that guy. Loco. God. Jumping shark out. If I move very close to this muton, um, I'll probably over, I'll probably activate the, uh, the over, the outsiders. Sorry. Whatever they're called. So we'll let shark out take a shot. Shark out never fails me. I'm pretty happy. I'm surprised he's still only a sergeant because he's been doing really good every time I take him out. It feels I'll like anyway. Neutralize. So I'm sorry, Owen, um, you don't really get to kill anything this turn because uh, I'm too worried about triggering the Outsiders. It's a common problem with, with Assault. As much as they're useful, a lot of turns there's just nothing good for them because I'm afraid of activating another pod. So we'll record towards the end here. I'll, I'll finish this up. Might as well get everybody reloaded. Roger. For now, I'm ready. I mean, it's probably Long just two outsiders, but um, why wouldn't we get everybody ready to go, basically? Yeah, we even know they're in there pretty much for sure. Now, I mean, I suppose you could try to be finicky. You could try to be, you could try to be smart and like throw in, I guess the proximity mine launcher doesn't go as far as I was hoping, but you could put out some mines and then maybe when they activate, um, you know, they might trigger the mines. I think what's better is to keep the mech out of line of sight if possible. And then next turn he'll be able to move in there and flame throw them. Flame thrower them. Flame them. Burn them. On the move. But we will move people a little bit closer. Moving. So that they'll have a shot more reliably. Yeah. Keep gas. A couple options for flanking. The medic is way far away. Let's do this. Sniper, you might not get a good shot. I'll put you right Ready here up. so you can see into the UFO a little bit better, but I'm not going to count on you very much. And JJ, you've spent all your rockets, but you still got an, uh, a, a pulse carbine, which is not a bad weapon. Let's see what we get. No pings. So, I wonder... 
Sometimes you can, like, toss these through walls. Not today. Let's, uh... Because this is shot up, let's put him on this angle. On my way. If I don't activate them, next turn he'll run in there and uh, should activate them. The rest of the team will probably stay out here. I just, I don't, I'm worried to move up and activate them right now. Um, except for Black Monk, you can move up. I'm on the move. We could sneak some people. Obviously, obviously we could sneak some people up there. So, um, yes, there you go, Owen. Oh, the most important to be close. I accidentally just overwatched with my sniper when I should have steadied. Forgive me! Okay, so the perfect way to do this, I think, would be to scare them from the left side and have them run directly into the mech's flamethrower. If that's possible. They were at the back of the UFO. They move forward. I think we'll be able to get at least one of them. Maybe both. Probably not the guy in full cover, actually. But maybe. We'll stand right here and we might be able to flame them both. Which will just make our job a lot easier. And that looks like we're getting both of them. I love flamethrowers. It may not have killed them. And I may not have brought any arc throwers to catch. But this was still a pretty good move. And I think we'll use Owen to get one kill for sure. Because... Like I said, assaults seem to miss out on some kills. We'll run and gun to kill that guy back there. He's high, he's, I think he's just standing out in the open over here. We just can't see Let's him. Do this. Yeah, he was standing out in the open. And this should be guaranteed. Bam! Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now we just need someone to finish this guy off. Uh, Lord Prey would be able to, but I'd prefer someone else, although we might not be able to get a line of sight okay. here or a shot with anybody. Okay, Black Monk, you got 66%. Well, no, no, no luck today. Anybody Shots else want to take a shot? It'll be panic for another turn, so I could, you know, let someone else get the kill. But honestly, let's just wrap it up here, unless you miss. Alright, good enough. So, that's how a small mission should go. Also, that was in the zone. I never actually needed to use that, but that wouldn't have ended her turn. I didn't need in the zone. I had it anyway. Yeah, it was fine. That was fun. Good practice. Excellent. Got some promotions. Without a scratch, and they managed to recover more of the alien Stairway. Oh, right. I have to rename you, too. Um, you're relatively mobile. I think I'll give you precision shot though. And uh, I'll try to rename you after this. Shark out is now a tech sergeant. Excellent. So what do we want to give a marauder? Marauders are fairly low aim. Not as mobile as I was hoping either actually. They're supposed to be close combat but they don't really get a lot of uh, mobility by the looks of it. Um. I don't really see a great overwatcher in you because your base aim is bad. I think we give you repair servos. You're going to be more of a tanky kind of mech. You start with shock absorbent armor. I gave you body shield. Maybe you'll have the ability to get uh, the absorption field later on. I don't know. And Owen, you're our new assault. Haven't used close combat a whole lot these days, but you never know. Alright, there we go. Everyone's... Actually, 22 Illyrium and 7 Meld, right? I only actually got to one um, Meld container, but uh, that was good enough. So, let me see who that was. Stairway, where are ya? Sometimes I miswrite down people's names, and Stairway's name I apparently got wrong. So, I can fix it. Nick, not nickname. I guess you could have a nickname if you can tell me one. Stairway to 7. There you go. I just went with Steven because it sounded like a name. Okay, so uh, let's let some more time pass. That was a nice easy start to March. Sure. It gives us another new soldier. And I don't think I needed the power sources terribly badly. I need a couple computers, but I didn't need that. Actually, do I have enough? I don't know if I... I didn't check if I got any 
from the uh, the mission there. We're looking for battle computers. Did I skip right by it again? I probably did. I think it... I didn't see it up in red, so I think we must have got one or two. Battle computer. There we go. This required flight computers and a lot of meld, but I think this is... This is too good to not build. Plus 10 aim, crit, and defense sounds amazing for a mech. Really? Con con considering the items I currently give them, I think that's worth our meld. Alright. More people are getting equipped. I think that was our final... Was that our final... Um... No, sorry. Hangar. Was that our final ship? Final Firestorm? Yeah, I think it was. South America. Everyone's got a Firestorm now. Excellent. Contact. We got a large. Unidentified. This is one we still don't know about. It's either a Harvester or a Terror Ship. Now... I've talked about terror ships and possibly letting them land and then retaking the base. I think if we could shoot it down though, that would be even more awesome. Let's give it a try. I believe if it is a terror ship, it's harder to shoot down than a landing ship. But we took out the landing ship very effectively last time. If it's a harvester, it should be fine. I think that's going to be a harvester actually. I, I don't know. Taking a lot of damage. Come on, Firestorm! We got it! We got it. We took a lot of damage, though. I'll want to see how long that ship is out for. Let's see. Firestorm. Well, you know, nine days to take out a large... I'm okay with that. That's still, I think, worth it. I don't actually know what kind of ship that is yet. Um, all I know is what we, what we've already sh captured, so, if you look at the UFO, um, analysis, we've, oh no, we've already done a harvester. Harvesters are large as transports large. So it's either, I believe, a terror ship or an abductor. It could be an abductor. That could have been an abduction mission that we just stopped, and that would be amazing. If we can stop abduction missions and actually capture the resources from the ship rather than just, you know, how much resources do we really get from a, an abduction mission? We get a little bit, but that'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode now. I'll prepare a pretty strong team for this ship. The last time we had a shot down large, it was pretty tough. So I'm hoping um, I, I want to bring a good team up. A little bit shorter mission today, a little bit shorter episode, but I think it was an easy one. I will, uh, I guess I could name our guy here. Let's, let's level up our newbie. So, what do we get here? Infantry or assault? Uh, you're not very speedy. Aim is exactly average. 65 is exactly the middle. HP is exactly the center. Defense is pretty high. Willpower is kind of average as well, actually. I'll give you infantry. I like infantry more than I like assault. Also, we've got like four specialist assault right now. So, I don't need any more assaults. Plus, infantry are good. For level 2, I think I'll try to build another Overwatch one. Opportunist, Cover Fire, eventually Sentinel. I think I'll have like a couple infantry that go that route instead of Ranger route. Now that we've got really good weapons, Ranger maybe isn't as important. Oh, plus I should name that person. Before I forget, because uh, Martina Schmidt is not a actual name. So who gets lucky? It shall be Max Destroyer today. Lucky you. And uh, no, I did not pick that name on purpose because it's an infantry. It just happened to catch my eye when I looked at my uh, my list of names. Can I type? Destroyer. There we go. Okay. So, sorry you're a girl if you're a boy, or you're welcome for being a girl if you're a girl. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Next episode, we'll, uh, we'll tackle that large shot down. It should be fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.